Alright, what is up? What is up? This is Dragon's Crown. Just as a disclaimer real quick, this is gonna get real repetitive in a little while because I basically kind of like changed my mind on a bunch of things a bunch of times. So basically, you're gonna get this video first, where I talk a little bit about Dragon's Crown. And then I play some Dragon's Crown. I'm gonna actually make a new person to do this. As you can see, I have a level 35 dude that is beating the game. And then you move on and you basically kind of like repeat the last half of the game, but on, oops, I don't know why that just switched over. Um, it basically repeats the game, the last half of the game, like you go through it again, but on hard difficulty. And then you get a further level cap. The level cap for hard is level 65. You get new side quests and stuff to do. And then I'm assuming there's another mode after that, because I've heard there's a chaos difficulty level. And then that would increase your level cap to 99. Same thing, more side quests, etc., etc. I just beat the game and I figured, let me just give you all some gameplay so that you can see it for yourselves. You don't have to take my word for it. You can see. Now, granted, it would actually probably be smarter of me to um, do this as like a co-op thing so that you could actually like, because grant, it, it's it's similar to Castle Crashers in that it's a fun game by yourself. It's an awesome game when you're playing like with friends or other people that you know are enjoying the game along with you so just keep in mind that this does have a four player co-op that is awesome but that i can't do right now um so we're gonna create a new character i'm not really necessarily going to i'm, I'm tr oh that's right i have to hit the a button first see this is the first dude i use look at look at how small his damn head is his head is smaller than her boobies i'm just saying but i'm actually this is the first character i used and I didn't really like the archery angle of her. Like, I like I like, I like the, the attacks, the movement and stuff. But I didn't really like the archery angle. And I tried him and I just didn't really like him at all. I never use magic characters. I'm just not a magic dude. So we are going to go with the Amazon with thighs that, Ma that Miss Chun Li would be jealous of. Let's go. Oh, we love ourselves some Burnett's. We're going with English. I like the Warriors. Warriors! Oh, I didn't want. I, mean, I didn't mean to do. I don't need to do that shit. Get the hell out of here. I don't want to do the. I want to do the tutorial. I know how to play. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Yes. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. We gonna hop right into it. We don't care about the tutorial. We don't care about the story. We just want to bash some dudes' heads in. Now, if the um. If the response to this is good enough, I may consider, I may consider a playthrough. I may try to play it online with other people. I mean, obviously it's an issue. Damn, look at them thighs move. Look at them boobies jiggle. Dude, look at the angle of her back. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's do that again. Look at the, the back part, the back part of her ass. That is not right. That is, that is just not right. Not even that ain't right. That that's not right. There's something wrong there. Oh my bad, dude. <laughs> it's a good thing he doesn't take offense to that, cause I beat the shit out of that guy during the while I was playing the main game. I was just fucking around and constantly smacking that dude in the face. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we are going to eagerly accept. Yes, that's cool. Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god damn it! To prove your metal for the guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple ruins. Man, seriously, look at them boobies jiggle. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that's all natural, baby! Oh yeah! This isn't creepy at all. This is completely normal. <laughs> Woo! The one thing that I, I don't... Well, there's a few things that I don't like about this game. One of them, I'll just kind of... Oh, did she just, like, power up from that shit? Like, wait, wait, wait. Go through that again. Stop blocking, asshole. Yo, asshole. Quit blocking. Only assholes block. But it looked like she kind of did some, like, power-up shit there. Hello, fairy. Oh, one thing I wanted to check here. Damn it, she does lose her weapon. I hate that shit. I don't get the point of it. Like, you throw away your weapon and you do so much... Maybe I should try to, like, make a build. 
I wonder if I'm still in hard mode, actually. Because I legitimately do not ever remember. I already dislike... Oh my god, that was kind of awesome. But she, she already moves, like, she attacks slower. She moves slower than the knight do, and I'm not liking that. I like my homies to have speed. Hey there, big boy. Much time has passed since the... See, like that shit. Is she powering up during that? I don't even know. But yeah, one of the things that kind of... I mean, it's, it's a silly thing to bitch about. But as you can see, I'm moving this hand around. You move that around with the right stick and you got to point at stuff. But man, that's just... That's, that's, oh, my bad, dude. Ha! Uh... That's what happens when you just swing at shit. Just swing at shit willy nilly, and that's what happens. My bad, bro. Oh god. I tried to evade and it didn't work. Dude, did that dude just do more than half my health? I seriously, I feel like I'm on hard mode. Because, I mean, I'm not kidding. Dude, open the fucking. Open the fucking chest! Because I never once in my entire time playing, not once did I see those dudes block. And then, like, right away one of them blocks my attacks? I don't know. I did hear there was kind of some, like, internal, um... That's gotta be bullshit. Because, I mean, as you saw at the beginning, it said, like, for normal players, for all players... For advanced players, I thought that was just like the way the characters played, like the, their styles would be easier or harder to people, like obviously the regular fighter would be the easiest because he's just a regular fighter, there's not complicated, he's very straightforward, whereas like the wizards would be more difficult because of the fact that like, you know, you have to control their magic, you have to know what magic to use against what kind of shit, you gotta put more thought into it. But somewhere I saw a mention a review where it basically said, like, there's an internal tracking thing, which kind of ups in, uh, which can up the difficulty, based on, like, for the expert players, the game was more difficult. And, like, I feel like that's bullshit, because that's random, like, that's so arbitrary. Like, how are you supposed to know that? Oh my god, I can't hit shit with this. Bitches. So I don't know if that's actually true, but that might explain it. That, like, did I play through the game on, like, legitimately the easiest mode possible because I picked the fighter first? And so, like, I'm used to things being a certain way. A certain very, very easy way. As you investigate the wall painting, you the oh, I can! That's awesome! This is actually a side quest later in the game. I wasn't sure if you could still do it unless you have the side quest. But you can! I think we're gonna get our asses kicked for coming in here. If I am remembering correctly, some shit comes and jumps us. Yeah. And it doesn't matter because this weapon's overpowered. Not overpowered enough! Why did it one shot all the other dudes, but not that one? I stopped caring. So long, because as you, as you can see, if you saw me doing it earlier, you can point at this shit and click on it and you get a little treasure. I stopped caring about that so early into the first, like, I just, I couldn't be fucked to do it. It slowed me down. I didn't care. <laughs> I just kept on going. Fuck that slide attack. Damn it, I missed. My last damn shot, and I missed. Oh, he didn't die. Don't fall down if you're not gonna die, shit. She does sprint very fast, like, she definitely sprints- uh oh, boss. She definitely sprints faster than the other dude does. Oh, fuck me! Ooh, what the- Oh, okay, that was- that was weird. I'm not actually sure what exactly that was. So it looks like I can, like, cancel? That's kind of overpowered if that's... Yo, I can't. I can cancel... Oh, shit. I mean, I don't want to say overpowered. Like, it's definitely not overpowered, but I can cancel her roll into her attack like that. That's... Oh, my God, and I can do it twice. I love this character all of a sudden. 
Like, that's serious, that's awesome. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck, I <laughs> went right back into it. I did it again, but it stopped. I don't even care, because it's almost dead. That's awesome. I actually really like, that's a really cool feature. I don't know if that's intended, because, like, that's really good, because when they're flashing, uh, white like that, I think they're invincible. I don't know if that's, like, just an indication, like, you dodged correctly so you didn't take any damage because you rolled properly. But I think they're invincible until that white flashing stops. So, like, if that's for real and I legitimately basically get a free flying attack out of that, that's godlike. Now we need to go through this. Actually, I'm gonna just appraise everything. Uh, oh, because I have all my gold from the other dude's playthrough, so I don't have to give a damn about how much gold I have. That's awesome. But yeah, once I got the uh, once I got to a certain point, I stopped. I basically stopped appraising everything that was not B rank or better. Oops, my bad. Wrong button. Wrong button. We want to. Do I get? My bad. I wanted to go here. Darn. You can unlock, later on, you can unlock more bags so that you can have different setups. Because you're, you're uh, as you can see, like, if you look at the far right over there, the durability category, your weapons wear out. So, like, if you want to continue dungeon diving, later on they give you um, more bags so that you can have different setups. Like, more, three sets of weapons, armor, etc., all that shit, all together so that you can continue dungeon diving once, like, one set wears out. Which is awesome. So one to five, that's all, we, that's all we get. We go from one to five to three to five. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, is this? Yeah, we're not going to be able to use that for a while. We're not going to be able to use any of that for a while. Fun. That's pretty much all we can use. How exciting. I'm like, the only, there's very, I really, I really, really like this game, and honestly, the only downside to it, in my opinion, is basically the fact that, um, well, it's not really a downside, it's basically, there's three little things that I kind of mention in, I do a Marvel video, I think I kind of started to mention it, but then I got sidetracked at the beginning, um, let's actually, let's talk about her for a second, we think the Amazon's body is ridiculous, what the hell is going down there? Holy shit. Anyway, um, you have fulfilled there's really only like three things in this game that irk me, which is amazing for a game. There's only three things. The first is that slide attack that you saw me do that I kind of bitched about. I hate that damn thing. I hate it. I hate it. Let's do it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh my god, I hate it. And I get it so often because the way to do it is basically you hit, you just hit down in the attack button. So I get that so many times on accident because I'm trying to move down to get into to get into range to uh, be on the same like horizontal plane that an enemy is at, and then I get that damn slide every single time. And it pisses me off every single time. Then it's the, the movement. Like everybody seems to walk it's too slow. If they could just walk, the dashing speeds are perfect. I wouldn't change the dashing speeds at all, but if they could just speed up the walking speed just a little bit, everything would be awesome. And then, what was the third? Oh, you saw me kind of do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll actually show it off in half of a second. I think this is okay, yeah. I have no idea what the Amazon skills are. Every long time, blah blah blah. Okay. How much? Almost the exact attack an enemy multiple times. Yes, we want that. That must be the power up thing that they were doing. Strength increases, HP decreases. Let's do that so we can be stupid and not care about our HP. Okay, but now that we're there, now I can do this thing and show you. Ba oh, you bitch. You've already oh my God, you're a bitch. So I'll spend. That. And you see, like, how she's not wielding her weapon, and she has... Look at that, she's actually Chun-Li. She throws a little bit of cami in there at the end, too. But you can also lose your weapon if you get knocked down. And, um... 
whenever that happens, it's just such a pain in the ass. Because you lose, I'll, I mean, like I said, I'll, I kind of started to say it. There are items in the game which, like, boost your unarmed damage. So maybe if you set it up correctly, it's possible to do good damage that way, using that kind of stuff if you set it up correctly. But, like, that shit neutered me with my warrior, with my fighter. Like, that completely killed all momentum that I had. Can I actually bring these dudes? There's no way I can bring those dudes with me. Right? Like, let me actually, I should go test this, because if I can bring them with me, well, that'd be cheap as hell if I can bring them with me. Along with me, like, wow. There's no way. That is dumb. Okay, so we are actually going to dismiss these dudes, because I don't want them. You know what? Fuck dismissing. Let's just have, let's just close that off for now. That way, at least, like, I won't have level 40 people jumping in with me, because that'd be dumb. That'd make the game far too easy. But yeah, when you go here, you can easily... I mean, like, these, those are basically NPC companions, so that if you can't play online or you don't want to play online, you can still have people help you. They're not very good, but it's still something. It's still extra damage output or extra things to be targeted that's not you. No spoilers. No spoilers. We don't care about money. We want more weapons and stuff. I wonder, can you? No, you can't. Okay. I never actually tested that for some reason. I have no idea why. That should have been the first thing I test. You, you can stack those. You request from the guild. You must go to the castle for further details. We're not gonna do story stuff. Story stuff is irrelevant. We want to see gameplay. So I'm gonna go back through, and we are going to do that side quest. You know what? Actually, you know, we're just going to end this here because you saw the first level. This Doing this side quest would be going through the same exact level again. You'd see the same stuff. Like I said, if you if you enjoy games like this, if you've enjoyed games like, let's say, Streets of Rage, uh, Final Fight, uh, Double Dragon, Battletoads, beat em up games like that. If you, the, I mean, like I said, the probably the first one that comes to mind for this generation of games is Castle Crashers. Which is still, I mean, this game is very good, but I still think Castle Crashers overall was a better game. Um, but still, this game is very, very good. It has awesome animation. I mean, if you can ignore the very, very weird body type of this bitch. Like, this isn't even like, I hate that there was some like controversy surrounding their portrayal of this chick and of the sorceress with the huge boobs. This is like, it's not, even negative it's ridiculous i mean let's just let me just because this pisses me it, it really did like piss me off that they focused on that shit like oh my god the portrayal of the amazon of this chick and of i went to the wrong menu anyway but that showed it off that picture showed it off perfectly and of the sorceress and her huge boobs her huge knockers that was so ridiculous it was so unfair like look at the dwarf Look at the- that's actually not very good because his- oops, I'm bad. Damn it. Please don't make me sit- okay, good. Like, look at this homie. Look at him. That is ridiculous. That is absurd body proportions. That is- there's nothing realistic about that dude's body proportions, right? So now let's check her out. Again. Nothing realistic about those boobs. Boobs that big would not stay up like that. Unless they're in water. And she's not in water, but that's ridiculous, right? Right, that's ridiculous. This homie's normal, and this chick is normal. Then you got this dude. Look at how muscular this dude is. That dude would not be able to move. Seriously, he would not be able to move. I mean, look at, look at, you can see his veins are like, turning him into the thing every time he flexes. That's ridiculous. And then we obviously go to the Amazon, the character we're using. Those thighs, the shape of that ass, the thinness of her of her torso, the big damn her calves are actually huge. Her calves are probably bigger. <laughs> I think her calves are bigger than the fighters. And that is ridiculous now that I'm actually looking at it. Now that I'm looking at something besides the boobies. No, but seriously. It's ridiculous, right? It has nothing to do with, like, a sexist portrayal of females. It has nothing to do with 
like feminism or some shit. You shouldn't be calling that out because this dude's ridiculous too. Look at his head. His hands are bigger than his head. Nobody's hands are bigger than their heads. And then you got this dude. Seriously, he's ridiculous too. But for some reason, all those dumbasses focus on is, oh my god, look at her, she's wearing a bikini. And she has ridiculous proportions. Sexist. I hate people. I hate people. I hate their thought process. I hate their lack of logic. I hate that they just latch on to something and to try to prove a point when they're completely wrong, but they will not stop it. Oh my god, I want to punch every single one of them directly in the ovaries because those motherfuckers deserve it. It's so it's so frustrating because like when you take a, when you try to make an issue out of something that's not there and you try to put on your blinders ignore everything else ignore that this entire game the animation of this entire game is purposefully ridiculous and you just focus on one character model and don't show anything else you're full of shit when you don't say all right look every single one of these characters is ridiculous but this one I think that's over the top. Then you can at least give people a full analysis for themselves. You can give people information to look at themselves rather than just coming out and saying, look at this. This is sexist. This is a ridiculous portrayal of a female. And then, but, and then like, that would be perfectly fine if every single person, if every single other person looked like this dude, was just this normal dude in a cloak, wasn't overly muscular, was just looked like a normal person, perfectly fine but instead it's not they look like this gigantic behemoth of a motherfucker but somehow the amazon is sexist okay i spent way too long bitching about that that was too long but uh i just had to get that off my chest because that's been that irks me seriously it irks me when people try to make issues out of nothing i mean I'm done. I mean, like I said, I can go on for this for ages. These people suck, and people do stupid things, and people are stupid, and it irks me so much. But we're not. We're not going to waste any more of your time. I hope you enjoyed uh, the gameplay of this, and I hope this maybe convinced a couple of you to go out and get it, because like I said, this game is awesome. This game with friends would be even more awesome. And there's no reason not to get it. I believe it's actually only $49.99 to start with. I'm fairly certain it's only 50 bucks, which is awesome. Because, I mean, this game has more content in it than most full games. So, you get 10 bucks off of an amazing game. Sounds like a fucking deal to me. So, there you go. There's a little bit of Dragon's Crown. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and peace out.